Hey Mallards, it is Sunday, I'm at Mel and Raymond's. Raymond made steak, it's delicious. Amanda can agree with me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely delicious. And uh, we're watching Megan, who is in our house, streaming uh, a game on Twitch, which is delightful. We are about to watch The Kissing Booth 3. For those of you who need a recap, which is maybe all of us who are confusing The Kissing Booth with to all the boys I've loved before. Because they're the same. In uh, the second of these films, our main character entered a dance competition with her best friend who got injured and instead she had to compete with this real cute boy. And when they won, she kissed him in front of her boyfriend who had come to see the show. But you know, she was already concerned about it because said boyfriend has a attractive uh, classmate who they spend time with uh, up at school and our main girl had found an earring of this attractive woman at her boyfriend's dorm slash apartment slash frat house. I think he's a frat house boy. Oh, yes. uh, and you know, was very concerned, but she kisses dance boy. Her boyfriend gets all upset for understandable reasons. There's a whole lot of blowout happening and a bunch of drama surrounding all of that. But it ended with the main girl and the boyfriend getting back together because there was also a new version of the kissing booth. And uh, other highlight, we had a gay couple. We have finished the kissing booth three uh, and let's let's get some hot takes. We're, we're gonna start over here with Amanda. Got any hot takes? Fall asleep. <laughs> that is a hot take. All right. I don't know how it ended. Megan? No, I do know how it ended with a time jump. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, it wasn't good. So, there's that. Uh, should it have been made? No. <laughs> Would I watch it again? No. <laughs> should you watch it? No. Have you watched the other two? Then maybe. Ah, I didn't think bring you joy. <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> I think that you should really utilize the fact that Netflix does let you watch films at 1.5 times speed. Oh. If you watch them. <laughs> great. Can yeah, I think that that's, that's great. Uh, Mel, you got a hot take? Uh, both of the main characters have awful hair. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Raymond? <laughs> Nothing? <laughs> no way. Raymond, did you uh, stay awake the whole time? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'll just check it. <laughs> uh, my hot take is that the only character who is worth anything in this entire series is Chloe. You're right. Like, she's super cool. She is clearly the only one with any level of emotional intelligence whatsoever. Linda was pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Linda was pretty yeah, good. Yeah, you're right. She Linda was Linda was pretty good. This entire film is just how to not relationship. <laughs> really? It the Kissing Booth 3. Franchise. How to not relationship. Because I feel like the Kissing Booth 1 and 2 is like how to not romantic relationship. But I feel like this film was like, how to not relationship, full stop. Like how to not familial relationship, how to not friendship, how to not romantic relationship, like how to not weirdly hang out with your friend's mom relationship. Like, <laughs> like it was just, it was how to not relationship the movie. I appreciate Lee and Rachel. Yeah. Mostly Rachel being emotionally intelligent enough to be like, I think we should give ourselves a break to see what our lives will be like as adults. Yeah. And then like come back That's to each true. other. Like I appreciate that so that they didn't do but, all uh, of the drama. Lee's side of that was still how to not relationship. Oh, also I forgot uh, how to not relationship humans relationship with items. That was all. <laughs> part of this film so it's really just how to not relationship uh if you've watched kissing with one and two and you're a completist maybe you should watch it otherwise i i honestly can't be like yeah do this uh watch the last two minutes <laughs> yeah. oh, five minutes 
Oh, is it five minutes? Okay, so it's maybe five minutes. Like, like yeah, watch, watch the last like five minutes and that's all you really need to know. Yeah, just the blooper reel. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> just, that's really the best part of the film is the blooper reel at the end. And watch the, that and you'll feel great. If the whole time you're wondering when the kissing booth part of this will come back up, yeah, that's just true. Just keep waiting. Yeah. <laughs> Wait forever. When you think you're, if you're not going to see it, that's when you'll see it. So that is the kissing booth three, and I'll see you tomorrow.